Hello, and what is going on today, guys? Tomcat here, and today, uh, we got some Forza Horizon 3 in the background, but we're gonna be talking about some news around the Super Street game. Now, back when I talked about this before, I was really excited to talk about it because I was really intrigued by the idea of a Super Street game, and, uh, currently... That feeling has not changed at all because of what you're uh, what you're about to hear. Now, this is on. They did an update recently on a subject that I have been extremely curious about, and that is customization. Now, the customization is. I mean, and they've said it's it's going to be a very customization heavy game, but they recently released some information that I'm very keen to share with you guys. Now, um, basically, they didn't in, they didn't interview with uh, one of their game engineers, and he talked about a few different things, a few different things from, you know, the customization standpoint, and one of the biggest things, one of the biggest things that I was very interested in was the fact that they, they, they've they said that, for example, it, they've said that it's extremely deep, and you start out by choosing a vehicle model, and after that you get the option to swap tons of different parts under the car. Um, for example, wheels, body kits, and they say here, quote-unquote, dozens m more types of car parts. So, dozens can mean who who knows what, but tons of different parts. Um, they also say engine swaps. You can do, you can swap your whole, well, what they say is you can swap your whole engine. Basically, confirming engine swaps. So, engine swaps will be a thing. Now, that to me is really, really cool because I d we don't know about any of the cars that are going to be in the game so far, but just just seeing the fact that you can actually swap your own engine is pretty dang cool. I mean, there's not a lot of games out there that offer functional engine swaps, and I mean, you've got, you know, say for example, Forza, which you guys, you know, you're seeing on the screen right now, but outside of that, it's not, like, engine swaps are not the most commonplace customization option uh, throughout games. I mean, they're, they're sort of at this point, but not, like, not to the point where, like, absolutely everything has them. So, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see those. Now, also, they say you can go much deeper and uh, put your own personal touches on different things by um, choosing, you know, your different paint colors and stuff like that paint colors, and paint types for almost any part. I mean, like, literally almost any part. Like, they give an example here. Like, if you wanted to do a lime green metallic hood and, like, a like a purple front or rear bumper. Now, I don't know if that would be my choice of color combination, but nonetheless, it's really cool to see that you can do that and that you can do, you know, that you can alternate colors uh, with these parts. And I think that's a really, that's actually one of the, one of the most important things, really, in a customization-heavy game, because as long as you have the ability to, you know, as long as you give people the freedom to be as creative as they want, they're gonna make some really, really legit stuff. They're gonna make some really, really damn cool stuff, and I am very excited to see where all of that goes when the game actually starts to, like, when we start to see more uh, around, the, uh, around the game and the gameplay of it itself. Now, there's a lot of different, there's a lot of different things that they also talked about, you know, when they interviewed this guy about his personal career and stuff like that. He says he worked on, um, he previously worked on Shift 2 Unleashed. He also worked on, uh, the game Wheelman, which I don't know if a lot of people remember the game Wheelman. I remember that game. Um, I didn't actually have the game itself. I remember playing the demo of it, but it was kind of an odd game. It was interesting, but it was definitely on the odd side of things, and, um, I think that it's, uh, it's definitely not something that, not something that your, uh, I guess your current average uh, racing game player would remember. But it, nonetheless, I feel like certain people will will remember it. Now, they also say that since the game revolves around personalization and customization, they want to take each they want to take each piece of customization down to its most you know, um, down to its most customizable level. Now, as far as what they, as far as what they mean by that, I'm, I'm assuming that they, they basically mean make everything as customizable as possible. And I'm assuming that means down to the, like, you know, if you could do different color, like, valve covers on the engines, and that, that, for one, I would love to be able to change the color of my valve cover. Like, I don't know why I like changing the colors of valve covers. That's just one of those things that I appreciate, and I think, the main thing that I can really appreciate here is the fact that they're 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 saying basically that, hey, we understand that the audience around this game 
wants customization more than anything, and, and of course, you know, gameplay as well, but wants customization more than anything, and they, they're like, we got that, and we want to, we want to allow you to customize everything down to that level. Now, we're obviously, we have to wait and see what the game actually looks like and, and what it delivers once it's, like, once we get much, much further down the line, but I'm certainly, certainly, certainly pumped to see what they've got in store for us. Now, they also asked him what his favorite part of this new customization system was, and he said it's, it, he says the, it's, it's a feature that they call the explode view. Now, basically what they explain, they, how they explain that is basically it will explode pretty much every single part on your car. So the entire, basically everything can be exploded off of your car so you can see how everything fits together and works together. Now, they say that this is going to be a really immersive feature, and they say that it will it, it will allow the player to really immerse themselves in the what they call the construction experience, which basically I think it basically what that means is how the parts fit together. And I think that it's really cool that they're going down to a really technical level on this. I think that it's it's really nice to see somebody go down to a really technical level on this. Now, I don't know what level we'll be seeing in terms of what we can do with the engines. I don't know if we're thinking about something along the lines of like, I don't know if we're thinking about necessarily like um, car mechanic simulator levels of getting into that kind of detail, but I for one, I'm very intrigued after after reading about what they what they've talked about here. It makes me very curious as to what kind of level they want to go to in terms of how much you can actually see, how much you can dismantle, how much you can look at in little, you know, these little tiny details that really make all the difference in terms of a customization system because this could be if they, you know, if they go the direction that it sounds like they're going, it could really be an intense, intense customization system and a really, it could be a very, very rewarding customization experience once you actually get the car the way you want it. Because the, the, the only thing that I'm, maybe I guess a little, if I had to say, if I had to give one concern for this system, I just hope they don't make it overly uh overly complicated or overly clunky because the more features you add the more potential there is for it to become complicated and clunky and as long as they can make it flow smoothly see that's the thing you can have a ton of features and a ton of customization features and if you make it flow smoothly it will work that's the thing is if you can make it flow smoothly it'll work there won't be any issues there won't be any little weird quirks with you know with different pieces of it where people might feel like you know might feel like there's there's just too much being thrown at them but like if if they really nail down a really smooth system that would be incredible because they'd be able to implement all of those features that they want to do without making it feel clunky or maybe overcomplicated. But I'm not too concerned about that. I feel like they'll do a really good job with it because they've been, it sounds like they've been focusing on customization extremely heavily, which I think is incredible, by the way, because that means they, that means they've got their, their, their target set pretty high for what they want to do with the customization. And I think that's where they have to start if they're, if especially, dude, their game's freaking called Super Street. So it, it's called Super Street the game. And the whole community around Super Street as a whole is customization. And that's the thing is, is it's your personal car and how you, how you choose to build that car, how, what you choose to do with that car, whether you choose to like, you know, to race it, or if it's more of like a show car, if it's more like just a street car, there's so many different, different aspects of what you could do again with that name. And I think that in this update where they really talk about customization, it really goes to show that they're really focusing in on that core aspect of the community that really does want in-depth, very, very personal uh, customization features. So I'm very excited to see where this, uh, this whole thing goes. I'm very excited to see what they do with it and where they take this game. And I think that there's a lot to be, uh, there's, a, there's a lot of interesting stuff that we could see come out of this game in the future. Now, um, I'll definitely be, I'll definitely be playing it on Xbox One, possibly PS4 as well, um, and most definitely PC because I just need one more piece and my new PC, my new rig will be ready to build. It's a, it's a totally up-to-date, 
totally up to date rig. I'm not going to reveal all the parts for you guys right now. Um, if you want to check out the parts, you can see some of them over on my Instagram page. There's, I've got some pictures up of them there. Um, but I'm going to be doing a build video. Well, I don't know about a build video, but I'm going to be doing a reveal video once the build is complete. So if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comments down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're excited for the new Super Street, don't forget to subscribe for more because once the game comes out and up to when the game comes out, you guys will be seeing a bunch of news regarding that game right here on my channel. And I'll see you all next time. Talk to you guys later.